Well, hello, YouTubers. Tell you what, I've got a, a crooked stick here that's got its all sandy done and got a got a little finish on it. Looks like I put a put a little uh, oak stain on it. Not sure what kind of wood it is, as usual. But uh, we're gonna try something a little different here. I'm gonna carve. Uh, it's gonna have a wood spirit face. And he's going to kind of be looking up at something on top of his head. It's not a jewel. Now, you probably think it's a round globe or a jewel because I do a lot of that stuff. No, nope, not that. So stay tuned, and we'll see what he's looking up at here pretty soon. First, let's get busy here and get us a wood spirit face carved in this stick. Now we're going to try to figure out what goes on top of his head. First, I roughed out the shape I wanted on the bandsaw. It is quite easy to see now that this wood spirit is going to have a mushroom growing out the top of his head. Well, I'll put a paracord wrap on this. Get that good and tight to start with. And just a simple right hand, turn to the left, and loop it through. And uh, that will do it. Then tighten up. So I've demonstrated this knot so many times over the other videos i will not dwell on this and i will be back when we finish up and uh last couple of knots okay we we're coming around here now to a point to where it'd be good to start uh demonstrating a little of this after you got it started like i said you can go just place it in your hand like this in your right hand no matter where the thread is your right hand turn it over to the left bring this loop back go over the end of the stick and pull it down tight Now I have a link to another video where it shows this a little more. It's like tie a paracord knot the easy way. And I believe this is the easiest knot there are to tie. Now you can see this pigtail that I started to tie the knot and then run this up over here just temporarily. That is buried underneath there. And that's going to be your hand uh, wrist strap. And what you want to do is continue with this knot until your string comes out even right with this one. So let's do it again and see where it comes to. Now then, uh, just pull it tight. Now, you see, it's almost there. Just a little bit. It will come out right even with it. So let's turn it. One more knot. And let's pull it up. Right there. And right through that. And let's pull, keep this pushed down so that all these cords are together. Tighten it up, 
And now you see what happens is that is perfectly in line with that. Now, if you go one more knot, you're going to have to go until it comes all the way back to that again. So that way it would cover up our carving. So we don't want to do that. So now, like I said, this is just tied up here to keep out of the way. What you want to do is tie one slip knot through there. Okay. Now I'm a believer in uh, in the CA glue when it comes to keeping these knots from coming apart. I just tied the end of that together with the other one, and I'm going to put a little drop of CA right there, and that will prevent that from ever coming loose. Now we just simply come up here, and I'm going to take the longest one I got, and I, I wrap that around one couple of times, and then go back up through, uh, back up through itself. That knot will slip now in and out here. So that'll slip back and forth here. Now let's turn the camera around and get a good view of this. Well, I guess that's about it for another video. Uh, this is a wizard walking stick. Wizard the mushroom hunter. Look at that. Now, you're sure to find some mushrooms if you take this stick into the woods. There's no doubt about it. Got your wrist strap up here, and you're going to hold him where he's looking forward. He's, he's helping you look for mushrooms. And you're standing right here, and you can see he is looking for mushrooms all the time you are. And you also have a mushroom right in front of you to know what they look like. Now, there's only one thing I can say from here on is that I'll see you in the next video.